Yay! We're back again. Episode yeah. 56 and all. Is it 56? 56. Man, look at you go. I know I got you it. You did your research? No, I got it in front of me. <laughs> Literally looking at it right now. Oh, nice. I'm well Paul. Played. I'm Paul. That's Kip. I'm Kip. I am. Still. Today on the Grappling Dads podcast, we're going to talk about how to find a good gym or know if it's a good gym. Are you at a good gym? Are you at a good gym? <laughs> how do you know? We're going to tell you. I guess. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> we had a different topic that, um, once again, Quirler is bowed out on. Well, he, he <laughs> <laughs> so so the original question was like, hey, what's the uh, topic this week, guys? I'm like, you know what? Uh, we're getting a lot of female listeners. Yeah, and, a they, lot. and they've been writing in quite a bit about, hey, is it supposed to be this sucky? <laughs> <laughs> Are guys all yeah. dicks? Oh, yeah, uh, yes. And it goes both ways. Like, I feel like they're going really, really easy, and I feel... Um, it, it just feels like they're not trying or, yeah, or, or there are there, there's not enough women in my school yep. or, or they're trying too hard and they're smashing me and it hurts and I don't like it, but is it supposed to feel real? So there's yeah. just, there's a lot of questions surrounding it. So and just, and just why do women get into it? Yeah. You yeah. know, how do you, how do they break through that same thing that guys go through? Uh, but yet I would think worse because guys are smelly and ugly. Yeah. Yeah. We're ugly. Yeah, I'm surprised more women just don't walk and go, nope, nope. I'm out. Y'all smell. You just, you I'm just, out. Just the smell alone, especially if they come in like halfway through a class. Oh, yeah. Like a you know, hard warm up on a summer day. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's a good one. Whew. Oh, it's a soup. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, Jen made a great comment. She she was sitting on the couch after class last night. She was just getting something to eat before she bathed. And she, co- she goes, um, I can smell myself. <laughs> and she goes, Correction. I can smell all the guys on me. I'm like, <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> She's like, it came true. out wrong. <laughs> nope. Pretty sure that's how my wife wanted me to come out. <laughs> and uh, it was fucking hilarious. I'm like, oh, that's super disgusting. <laughs> and true. Yeah. Back in the day before I had a gym, we'd have a bunch of guys in my basement. Back when I was learning, I'm um, using air quotes. <laughs> jiu-jitsu. <laughs> jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, we'd do like, you know, MMA, jiu-jitsu and stuff. And there's like, three to four guys in a basement that didn't have any windows. <laughs> it was God awful. Oh God. You it guys was, were growing like yeah, mold. Yeah. Nicole, <laughs> yeah. Nicole hated those days. She's like, Oh, I can't, I can't even do laundry today. It's just, no, just no, not going to happen. It gets bad. It does. It's soup's a good word. Soup. It's a soup, soup. is a good I word. Like it. It's bad. Um, speaking of women in our class, we had, uh, two extras. We had we two did. new ones. Yep. And, well, one was a visitor? No. Oh, she's coming? No, no, she's coming. She. Oh. I'm, we're not giving names because everyone will know them. One's Amanda. <laughs> uh, you don't know what Amanda. <laughs> but uh, it's a wife of a training mate. Uh, so she's coming. She's actually, I think she was there again tonight for Nogi. Oh, okay. And my wife went to help her out. And then the other one is from another gym that was up uh, 45 minutes away from us. Right. And uh, she moved here, oh, so she need, she okay. she's visited visited before. I got you I with her she was just with visiting. her professor. She's visited our okay. gym before, so um, yeah. So she's she's here to stay. Awesome ladies, super sweet. Oh yeah, talented. Yep, they already beat me up. It was it was great. They ran away from me. It's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's understandable. Avoid that guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of all that stuff, uh, we uh, we sent Croyler the question, and he and he writes back. He goes. Guys, I'm six pages in, <laughs> and uh, I'm nowhere near the end. So either A, we have to do a live show, or B, we have to make it a multi-part series. So I don't think he gave us multi-part series on that one. I did. Oh, that was your That was idea. my comment. Oh, we can do multiple comment. episodes. Yeah, we, we well, we had to break up one before anyway on the, uh, the children's. So we could do that with the women's. Well, we'll do that with the women's. I think we could even do an episode where we have someone on. Yeah. A woman, preferably. Maybe two. We can make them paper, rock, scissors for who comes on the show. Oh. Or who doesn't. That, no. That might go either way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, want to go, go your I don't want to go. No, paper, no, no. Paper, rock, scissors for who no, doesn't no. get to go. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to make us. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. But no, we think that's a, that's a good topic because we get a lot of questions. Uh, and yeah. And I think actually we have more women listeners to Grappling Dads than men listeners at this point. <laughs> it is getting quite heavy. It's interesting to me. Um, just because it's dads, you want, yeah. Yeah. which I'm glad people are seeing past just the, the really cool name we have. <laughs> it, it was a great name. I'm not sure how I picked it up. I think I stole half of it from grappling central. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think it's like, a great name. 
how can I embellish that? <laughs> <laughs> how can I bite on half that? At he least? doesn't have kids. I have kids. Ah, oh, <laughs> grappling dads. <laughs> Perfect. So just it started off as grappling dad central. <laughs> like, oh shit, that's that's probably a little too right on the <laughs> we, right on the point. We get a cease and desist letter like no, no, stop it. I'm like I, he, he might send us a message. He's done that before. He's a nice guy. I do like him. He's you got a, he's got a good show. That's funny. People keep on asking us about uh, interviews. I'm like, there's already a show. There's a that. bunch of shows that do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not our thing. No, we're gonna. Just it is. Do it is yeah. Well, no, we we do them and we enjoy them. It's just not our our niche. No, our niche. No, we gotta have Jamal on. I can sure. say that all I want because he's never. Oh my god, never so, listening. So we did the uh, the UFC party at our coach's place, and Jamal was giving a shit about not having him on yet. I'm yeah, like, I'm of like, because at first I told him after he won 16 fights, I'm like, you win your 17th one in a <laughs> row, and then we'll have you on. And of course, we didn't. And then he had a title shot. I'm like, well, when you have a title shot, we'll uh, we'll definitely have you on. So, we didn't. So then he won the title, <laughs> and so far, no and, good. And then we still have not. Right. So he's like, bro, come on. I'm like, dude, as soon as you defend your title one time, <laughs> <laughs> we will pursue. He's like, just, keep, just keep backing it up. Back it up. <laughs> he goes to get buzzing, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. He's not. He's not. <laughs> you guys are going to love Jamal when he comes on. He's freaking funny as hell. Yeah, he's good people. He is a very good Apparently guy. a pretty good fighter, too. I mean. Oh, who knew? Who knew? Yeah. He beat the number one ranked guy in Michigan, I do believe, so. Yeah, excellent fight. Hell yeah. He did really, really well. Dude dodges a punch like there's no tomorrow. Holy well, shit. Well, it's funny because I was trying to watch it on the uh, the live feed. And it was uh, yeah, fuzzy. Grainy it was hell. draining yeah. fuzzy. So I kept on thinking Jamal was getting his face punched. And I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm oh, watch- my God. I'm watching oh. it. And I'm like, you know, I'm doing that thing. Oh, oh, my God. He's getting hit. How's he tur- standing up? It, it turns out he wasn't. No. He was good at really just getting out of the he way. He just so. stays just out of range. He's so good at that. And then the only problem is occasionally when he does that, he's on his back heels to make sure he didn't get hit. And then he'll fall back into the cage, and people are like, oh, my God. And Jamal's like, he didn't hit me. <laughs> but whatever. I'm, I'm fine, Pete. Yeah, he's amazing. So you guys will love him when he comes on. I yep. know we've said that for many episodes, many, but many. it'll happen. Hey, you know we should talk about before we get too far in? Uh, some sponsors? Yeah, tap tape. <laughs> Is he really a sponsor at this point? Yes. Because? I'm still using his tape that he gave me, so yes. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a good call. It's a good call. I still enjoy it. Yeah, it's still great tape. Everybody should check it out. He's just a busy son of a bitch. I baked my tape in my car for three days. <laughs> Actually, it was more long, longer than that. It was like five days of baking. <laughs> I got my ghee and my tape out, and everything was just like melting. It was like oh, right yeah. out of the dryer. It was, <laughs> nice. God, it was awful. Oh, my ghee was on fire yesterday oh, when I, I got, in my, got down to the gym. Oh, I was miserable. I was putting that on going, oh, this really sucks. It's already <laughs> like 95 degrees in the gym. It was warm. And I'm like, I'm already going to sweat. This is going to be terrible. That's perfect. Uh, uh, oh, but uh, I, I kind of ruined myself. the tape still work? The tape still worked. It was great. It was just nice. hot tape. <laughs> hot tape. But yeah, get your tab tape. Get the tab. Get, get it on Amazon. When you get it, review it on Amazon. Because Please do. that stuff helps. It, it helps really does. Yeah. It helps the right people sell the right stuff. Yep. Very important. And I like supporting people that are good people. He's good people. He's very good yep. people. He cares about his customers and, you know. Us. He does, yeah, and he supports uh, the right people. Yep, so, I like him. Like us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, we're good, as far as you know. You don't Maybe. know me. <laughs> Kip, Kip's all right. <laughs> Evidently, everyone hates me. <laughs> oh, I know, it's great. <laughs> the, the, oh, Jesus. The emails we've been getting and the and Yeah, the, we've uh, had a Instagram slight messages. influx of oh. extra messages oh. and reviews. I'm a fan. Everyone's we, we, we might We might read them after the... Uh, <laughs> you guys are super The mean. hashtag pro tip. If I had feelings, <laughs> you guys are fucking assholes. And they're awesome. <laughs> I love y'all. Uh, so next up, we have some top mount apparel. We and, talked a little bit about Al um, yeah. earlier. Awesome human being. Awesome products. Yeah. He's got really cool stuff. Very yeah. inventive, and he gets more and more of them. So, yeah. and we're going to keep on mentioning the jujitsu and all I want is jujitsu and tacos shirt until we're wearing it. Until we're wearing it. <laughs> no Spe- pressure. Spe- I already talked to him. He's very busy. He had. Oh, he's so glamorous right now. Uh, um, let me. Let me see what it was, cause uh, let me. Oh yeah, I'm too. I'm really busy with you know training, shipments. Wait for it, photo shoots. <laughs> I'm like, what? You know you reach the big time. 
when, when you're doing photo shoots. Photo shoots is taking up a large mm-hmm. amount of your time. <laughs> Al, I'm just going to throw this out there. I make a great model. Uh, we proved that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a little side-by-side. If you <laughs> check out uh, our Instagram page, I'm a little side-by-side, you know, comparing his actual model with myself, and clearly... Wearing the shirt you're wearing now. Yes, actually, and clearly I wore it better. Oh, um, dude, fucking obvious. Yeah. So if you're listening, go to our Instagram page, follow us. Go down uh, uh, lots and lots of pictures, halfway, yeah. and uh, you'll you'll know what we're talking about with side by side pick where we're both wearing the same shirt, and clearly yeah. I outwore the shirt. Oh, dude, no yeah, doubt, I outmodeled. I mean, it model. was amazing. Yeah, jeez. I mean, made her look like dog shit. Oh yeah, I mean for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dad putting it up. What's up? Yeah, yeah. We're not pretty. Nah, I I support the realist crowd. You know, yeah. The people that like tacos and jujitsu, <laughs> as the case maybe. Yeah, I don't. See, yeah. I don't see her eating tacos Man, and uh, jujitsu. Yeah, probably just. She's does. never even smelled a taco. Guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> she's all fit and healthy. What's a taco? <laughs> <sighs> They're wonderful. I couldn't live without them. But uh, yeah, check them out on Instagram. They do some great posts on there. Uh, the website topmountapparel dot com. If get you, it. If you use the code GD ten. Yes. Well, you weren't even totally sure on that. I wasn't. That was a real question mark on the end of that. Well, I was hoping you. I was hoping like you would just finish the sentence. No, for me. I left it out there because yeah. I could tell you were a little bit of a struggle. Let me hang. GD <laughs> something. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. let you go on yeah. that one. GD ten. You get a you get a discount. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Do that. Yeah. Enjoy your shirts. Yes. Also, if you're in the mood for good uh, Instagram pages, check out Proud BJJ White Belt. Yeah, dude, it's cool. They support uh, White Belt BJJ people. Yes. That just get promoted. Their people struggle at white belt. It's hard. It's oh, it's hard, hard belt. to get through. It is. Uh, it's you lose so many yep. people. It's and go from love to hate real quick, yep. or love to just despondent yep. from it. You and know, a lot of things are relative. Not I don't want to say relatively easy to get good at, but jujitsu is not easy to get good at at all, especially for the average uh, people. It's yeah. Just, oh yeah, for it's, sure. It's, it's it's a struggle bus for most. Yeah. Most people. That I I've mean, it was to. super easy for me. Oh yeah, yeah. You you took on it like you know, fish to water, you know, or fish uh, out of water. Yes. Yeah, it's more accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> but yeah, it just it's a, it's a good way to support uh, support the white belts and give them encouragement. So I check, love it. Check and, them out. You know, it's it's great stuff, man. They it's all family over there. So and uh, yeah, Top Mount is a definite supporter of them. So. Oh sure. And they have a giveaway, so you might as well fucking go follow yeah. their page. Also, if you are in town, check out uh, Black Lion Jiu-Jitsu. We'd love to have you as a guest. Um, once again, you can beat me up. Easily. I mean, I'm going to try. He's just You'll a blue belt. You'll still beat me up. He's just a blue belt, people. I have a great idea. Speaking of that, and we just talked about uh, it, Top Mount. Is it just off the top of your head because these don't generally work out well? Like, I have this idea that we're never going to implement. As, no, no, as this has do. nothing to do with the show. This oh, is, okay. uh, well, it does. Um, it's more <laughs> just putting more pressure on uh, other people. Um, I think someone that you know may have a apparel company might uh, you know adopt the just a white belt T-shirt. Just oh, an idea. Yeah, Dude, you, I, you actually had somebody leave a review. Leave a review, and their moniker was just a BJJ white belt. Yes, beautiful, awesome, beautifully done. <laughs> That's my shit. <laughs> huge, huge fan of that. Yeah, it's like hey. I influence that it's, shit. Look at that. <laughs> look at me influencing. I'm bitch enough to get to people. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <Bingo>. <laughs> yeah. I whined like a little bitch till someone thought it was interesting. Yeah. Perfect. You're not alone, kid. <laughs> yes. Dude, that's that that hit a fucking chord. We need to do that show again. Oh, for sure. Another show kind of like that, I think. Because Maybe you could do it on just a blue belt. <laughs> it's the Nothing's same. changed. It's kind of the same. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the same? I do know. <laughs> But yeah, definitely check us out, Black Lion, um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Chad yep. Pomeroy is our professor slash coach slash um, all knowing being. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Croiler, hence the pro tips. Oh no, he's more of a demigod. Ah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to get those straight. So if uh, occasionally I'll post a, a video of me, I want to say rolling, but I'm going to use that in air quotes as well. Getting yeah, rolled, pretty damn close. Uh, getting rolled by Croiler, and uh, it it's embarrassing, really. But it's on uh, Instagram, so check them out. Yeah, it's check fine. it out. You can yeah. see when he starts talking to the person next to him. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then he gives me the finger wave like, oh, that's adorable. You thought that was going to work, <laughs> yeah. didn't you, Cupcake? Oh, I see what you were doing there yeah. a half hour ago. You yeah. suck. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that before you woke up this morning. Yeah. Somebody made a good comment, um, Isaac or somebody on Facebook, uh, that it every time the coach rolls with his students, it looks like an old, you know, the dad just beating up fucking everybody. Oh my, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, ah, it's totally accurate. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, you look like a five-year-old trying to hit your old man. Yeah, like, it's and he's just, just like, yeah, yeah that's like, not going to oh, work. That's cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah. Nothing you do works. Oh. True. But yeah, speaking of Croyler, check out his website, CroylerGracie.com. If you want a seminar or a private lesson, or just want a good school to train at? Good Lord. Will somebody sign up for a seminar? Yeah, I know we have freaking professors out there that listen. Do it. Do it now. Do it's it now. amazing. He'll fly there without a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. He hates me right now. Yeah. Well, always. No, it's a whole new hatred because I'm missing yet another team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, matter of fact, let's get into the pro tip right now. Okay, we've covered the sponsors. Yep, yep. We 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 got a little bit of a hubble about the way. So let's get on with the show. Episode number fifty six. Croilers <clears throat> pro tip. Polly and Kipperdoodles asked me to talk about what to look for. How has my name become Kipperdoodles on every fucking thing now? Uh, that's it's it's funny because when I push K in my phone, the first thing that comes up in the middle <laughs> is Kipperdoodles. <laughs> Fuck, not and even it, my name. <laughs> no, it, it's not. No, it's not. I push Great. K and Kipperdoodles comes up right away, so I just hit that. So sweet. Yeah. Need a jersey. Yeah, Kipper on the oh, back. Oh, dude, that'd be sweet. My wife uh, gave me that name and told everyone at the gym, and now that shit's invaded my podcast. Ah, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> good, that's good stuff. Crowler's right. kind of a jerk. Well, yeah. Polly <laughs> and Kipper Doodles asked me to talk about what to look for in a good school. So, before we get this show on the road, let's go ahead and mention the irony of that statement. <laughs> He's such a dick. Yeah. <laughs> he broke right into being a jerk. Mm-hmm. Uh, air quotes, show on the road. We are having our big team training session this Saturday where all the students in the association are encouraged to meet at one of the schools, <laughs> this time being mine. So guess who's never been to headquarters? <laughs> I'm such a bastard. Kip. Yeah. Kip has not ever made it down to visit, see, and or train. Guess who's not coming down to train this Saturday? <laughs> Kip. Yes, ladies and gents, he literally can't take his show on the road and come visit me. <laughs> so yet again, he'll miss out. And once again, I'm having to resort to writing things in rather than speaking them. Paul said I will be coming down, but I am too dumb to work on the equipment. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, end That's quote. That's accurate. End quote. You should have put that in quotes, but you didn't. Uh, so whatever. So <laughs> let's take a minute. And write hate mail and send oh, it into them. <laughs> He's asking for hate mail for me. God at the dads at grapplingdads dot com. <laughs> got the got or, the what? Yeah, you got the email address right. Yeah, yeah. Long preface short. Shame on you, Kip, for not traveling for jujitsu, and shame on Paul for being a nincapoop <laughs> with his equipment. <laughs> uh, uh, the last time he touched it, he broke it. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> no. It was a roundabout way. You made way. me fix it. <laughs> yeah. I was the catalyst yeah. the of catalyst awesomeness. Or the ass wipe that broke the shit. All right. All right. All right. You touched All right. it for three seconds and you broke it. I did. I and did. it took me an hour to figure I out still, what you did. I still feel good about it because I enjoy <laughs> listening to the shows more. It is better. All right. Cool. And I had to work. But yeah, by I, the way, I, I have to work. I'm the lowest man on the totem pole at my work. Yeah. I have no choice when yeah. they put me on Saturdays. Yeah, you haven't been there long. No. I just quit. But clearly your uh, dedication is in all the wrong places. If all these listeners would start just giving me free money, we would be fine. Says the guy that will not do a Patreon account. No, it's begging. This is just creative. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Send lottery tickets to <laughs> the ads. Fuck that. That's a loss. <laughs> Fucking, we get one five dollar winner out of eight hundred <laughs> that people send us. Gee, thanks, people. It's true because I never win anything. Ever. No, you you really don't. No, no. If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. I'm that guy. Yeah, I believe that's yeah, true. Yeah. All right, so moving on, we'll get into the uh, actual tip rather than just the um, the shaming. <laughs> it's the other the shaming. shaming of the grappling. Dads. I kind of feel like we should be walking down the street naked and people yelling just shame and shame pelting and us with rotten tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, and poo and whatnot. Yeah. 
Oh, you went all you went all Game of Thrones on that Game show. Game of Thrones on that. Nice. Yeah, Very, people, well played, sir. People know. Well people know. I'm really looking forward to that coming up in, you know, next freaking year. Why God. did they do that? Just to... Oh, let's go two years. Fuck yeah. you. Right. <laughs> hate. Now right watch, hate mail to that shit. Now I got, I got to watch bullshit until that's out again. Sucks. All right. So what should you look for in a good school? One, look up the hierarchy, meaning where did the head instructor get his education from? I'm going Harvard. <laughs> that's probably not what he's talking about. I don't think so. In today's day and age, it's easy to find out where they got their instruction from. Shady background, generally not a good sign. A good education doesn't also mean he is a good instructor, but it does set him up for a higher potential for success than one with a shady background. What do you think a shady background is? Like, you just can't tell? No, you don't know where he got his training. I gotcha. So I've had um, conversations with Corriller when he was around about that, just about um, schools in general that he's had, you know, interactions with. And literally... He, he could ask the, the professor, where'd you get your black belt? Or where'd you get your brown belt? Whatever it right. is. And they're like, this guy. Well, where did he get his? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> so kind of thing. When it ends or, right there, you're yeah. like, ah, something's amiss. Uh, ah, you are a paper cutout yeah. of an actual black belt. So you should ask. Understand. So you should, you should at least ask who you're affiliated with. And if you're not affiliated yes. with somebody that you've heard of. And you're affiliated and trained by them because that's weird because I've heard of some affiliations where you can just buy that shit. Mm. Yeah, I've actually seen that where they've had seminars and they've paid for a seminar and then this dude that uh, has never worked with them a day in their lives no. gives out belts. Yeah, and you're like, what the fuck? That's interesting. <laughs> like, like, Why are you giving out a belt? Like maybe, and Croiler, you can, you can speak to this on text or whatever. We can yeah. mention it later, but... If you go to a school and you roll with somebody for a handful of times, can you tell if they're like a brown belt now rather than a purple belt? Or does that take a little bit more interaction? I would think it would <laughs> take than, more than a few rolls. Rather than like a seminar where you probably taught for two hours and then you roll for 15 minutes with, <laughs> with each guy. I, I would I would assume that just, it seems uncouth. It but seem, I don't know because don't I'm know. not a black belt. Yeah, nor will we be. Oh, I can't say that because Corley gets all he gets uh, mad, gets all butt yeah, hurt, and yeah. oh, and there's you guys could be. No, 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 we can't. No, no, I can't even be a purple belt. Let's, let's be We're honest. fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I'm rolling with Morgan, and I mean, I'm generally fucking around and having fun. But I mean, bad technique is bad technique. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't hide that. You can't hide bad technique. So, so Morgan looks at me after a super stupid hip bump. Uh, no, uh, trap and roll. Yeah, from Mount, and she she looks at me incredulously and goes, "That was some white belt shit." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it right now. <laughs> shit, uh, it was really uh, funny, uh, and she was so right because that was bullshit. Well, yeah, and she's she 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 did that to me prior, like I don't know, a few months ago. She's like, "You're giving me way too much space. What the fuck's your problem?" I'm like, ow, I am, but you're small. <laughs> not my it was excuses i suck yeah. <laughs> she's good at pointing out when you're just being garbage oh yeah because i knew i was just like yeah not doing anything right right yeah. now <laughs> so yeah I, th- I think our problem is, is i think if we're screwing around it, we should at least <laughs> use proper technique <laughs> i know right <laughs> no more shit technique all right we you know here we can't do it on our memes with our children we can't do oh, it here. yeah, clearly clearly if my nine year old daughter isn't gonna do a perfect arm bar in the pool in the <laughs> for a, We can't, can't right? we can't yeah, do it yeah, ever. Right. Jack. <laughs> Got it. Okay, where were we? Yeah, still mad. What are we talking still about? Still mad. Little bit salty. Little bit salty. <laughs> <laughs> like four hundred other people loved it and were like, Yeah, fucking this one guy. Yeah. Such a <laughs> dick. <laughs> it's the only one I'm focused on. Not the not, not the, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of likes. <laughs> Another good comment. It's just it's actually two guys. One one that's a shit arm bar. And thumbs up to a child. And the other one was uh, thumb up. Yeah, we fucking know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying not to drown my kid. <laughs> I love how you're going into it again. Oh, yeah. You can't stop yourself. I can't. All right, moving on. Oh. All right, so make, oh. make sure your instructor has a good instructor at least. Yes, or good lineage. Yeah, yeah however you want to put it. Two. Look. <laughs> make sure Kip and Paul aren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Look up how involved the head instructor is with the students. More often than not, there will be two to five instructors in a school. And that's great, but it's important that the head instructor is involved. 
if they are absent, that is generally not a good sign. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of gyms like that. Like is the there, head instructor there... just owns it and he doesn't do shit. Well, is, is that kind of like, um, so the head instructor or the owner? It can be both. If it's well, separate or different. Like, uh, so there's schools that are owned by an individual, really yeah, not like, affiliated. Um, we like have a, our uh, Australian um, yeah, yeah, yeah. friend of ours. Yeah. Sarah. Uh, what? Sarah. Sarah. She had that yeah. where the head instructor still had a day job and it got, and there was an owner of the gym that was right. just fucking money hungry as shit. Right. <laughs> that happens. But a lot of times the head instructor is the owner. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Chad. Right. But what they'll do is they'll have all their blue belts teach the classes and they don't teach. And that happens more than you would think. You think that blue belts like, are teaching? Oh yeah. I've been to schools where the blue belts are teaching. Yeah, that's well. The, ours, that's the main ours did uh, well. We had um, Ben and Morgan will, but but, but that's fine if they teach classes, and that's what Crowley are saying. It's not fine if that's all you get. Oh yeah, yeah totally yeah. yeah. Because I thought Ben and Morgan were great. No, no, no. Blue belt teachers are fine, but if that's but they're also, your they're only, both also yeah, basically purple belts yeah. when they were trying to teach. So well, I mean, regardless, I mean, you can have a baby blue belt teach up to that level if they're a good teacher, so long as they're overseen by. The head instructor who is yeah an upper belt right ever present yeah, type person exactly you know yeah. wa- watching okay. over is you know sure the students and involved and it's part of his job yeah but when they're never there or if they are they're not involved because they're dicking around on their phone behind the desk there's a problem that so, happens huh oh my god yeah yeah a lot really fuck that guys <laughs> exactly so yeah it's hard to tell at first because you don't know so when you, you when you go into a gym there's usually the guy behind the counter that you talk to and somebody else is running the the class. But if you sign up, you don't know that until you're like, dude, when is when is that guy with the black belt going to teach? And that's that's interesting. And I, I, I remember somebody mentioning that, that it's how cool it was that Croiler is involved with all of us and rolls with all of us. He goes, that doesn't happen everywhere. Right. And I'm like, wow, really? Because Croiler's been beating the shit out of me for like two years. <laughs> I, I've actually heard of instructors that get pissed if they get tapped out by their students. I so think Coiler they, would cry if uh, just way off base. Like I caught him in something never going to happen. Right. But if I wow. did, he would there's, think there's hypothetical and then there's sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> then there's just fucking <laughs> impossibilities. <laughs> uh, but let's just say that like Coiler would honestly, I know for a fact he would be proud. Yeah. And so would Chad. Chad doesn't care at all. No. Like, you Tammy, whatever. Yeah. Uh, once again, impossibilities. Well, the, the cool thing with Chad is is he's one to stand up in front and say, hey, you're going to get tapped out by lower belts. He says it all if the time. If you have a problem with that, this shit ain't for you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's top-down mentality right there. That comes from Croiler, Chad, all the way down to, you know, everybody here should not be upset if somebody catches them in something, ever. No. You should be proud. Like, hey, that was really good. That was fucking yeah. awesome. Get it. But, but anyway, so you should... It's hard to tell, actually, if they're there. Maybe you can ask the students or, you know, take a one-week trial class. A lot of them have that. A lot of them have that. Matter of fact, I think he talks about that. uh, Down the way. Down the way, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, anyway, good good thing to look for. Yeah, I like that. Yep, number three. Come into the school and watch a class. Pay attention to the structure of the class. Is it structured or does it seem the instructor is structuring the class as he goes? An unstructured class is a bad sign. That was really hard to read. (laughs) <laughs> it was. You got through it, though. Murdered it mildly. Structured. Unstructured. Un- unstructured. Unstructured. Whoo. Whoo, yeah. Whew. I got through it. I made it. I'm kind of proud. proud. God, so proud of you. Structure in that statement. <laughs> so much structure. <laughs> so much structure going on right now. But he's right. If it's chaotic and he's just like, um, run, um, shrimp drill, uh, let's roll. What? <laughs> Uh, we'll do some instru. Oh wait, you don't want to do that? We'll just do instruction. <laughs> okay, right. I can see that though, yeah. Because I've been around other coaches, not in this this venue, but that literally fly by the seat of their pants for yeah. every freaking thing, and their team are chaos. Yeah, it's probably going to be easier to tell if you already have experience in jujitsu. Like if you're a brand new white belt, you don't know what the fuck structure looks like. I presume. Unless it's one well, of those, it's one. Unless it's yeah. one of those like Congress says, uh, "Porn." I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what the? It's interesting too because it goes the other way. Like watching, I've watched, I've watched, watched, watched people. No, 
I've seen people that have been at our gym and, and watched for a whole and they never come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's not because I know like Chad will take out one of the few of the guys will take time out and I, to talk to whoever's watching, but they never come back. And it's like, that's the only problem with jujitsu. That shit looks intimidating as fuck if you yeah. walk into the wrong class. Like, if you're at an advanced class and you're a white belt, you're like, they're trying to kill each other. Yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting point because I distinctly remember an advanced class. At Wednesday, advanced class goes yes. first. Somebody came in and sat down and sat through at advanced least part class. of yeah, the advanced a class. a good portion of advanced and, class. I know exactly what day you're talking about. And I almost didn't come back. So yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a fucking, it's, it was uh, during competition season for yep. us. And like, that's what he said. Competition yeah. going up, competition season, we're going to get after it. We're going to get yep. after it and it's going to be intense. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Yeah. It's just come to the other classes. Yep. Totally Unf- fine. Totally fair. Unfortunately. The only problem, yeah. <laughs> that's when that guy showed up and we're like, there's no talking him out of that. Like right. you can't be like, Dude, it's not usually <laughs> like this. I swear to God, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy everybody is right now. Oh, see the tears of joy? Do you see the tears? But it's a necessary thing, but wrong class for someone to watch. So make sure if you're going to go watch a class, maybe watch. make sure one. it's the right class. Yeah. It's not the advanced class. It's not the comp class. It's something that you, the reason why you walked in. So yeah. if you're walking in to learn jujitsu, make sure you're watching the beginner class. Yeah. You could actually go up to the instructor after the class or whoever comes in and ask them, what the fuck did I just see? Yeah. Could you <laughs> maybe put not that in so, context for me? <laughs> maybe not in so many words. But, but, you know, just like, is this what it's like? I'm a beginner. I, I can't that, handle that. Yeah. Right? Don't be afraid. Yeah. Like, every the jiu-jitsu community as a whole is amazing at introdu- like just taking everyone into our family. Mm-hmm. And that's one reason why I love it. And we will never, like, most people in this community won't ever, like, go, this isn't right for you. Or, right. you know, you're too fat, you're too out of shape. No, no, you'll never yeah. hear that. So don't ever be afraid to walk up and go, what the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I literally just saw you put his head in between your legs yeah. on, on purpose. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. So, so, okay. If you're, if you're a layman, you don't know what you're talking about. Did you, you really use at, fucking layman? Yes, I did. I love I that word. You. Love it. You get you. We know what it looks like. Yeah, we're aware. We, we know what it is. We're not. We're not that dumb. You can say, "What are you guys doing this for?" Like, I don't understand yeah. anything. You know, and yeah, we can we can explain it. But if oh, you just walk sure. and look and don't know what's going on and walk out, you'll and you don't know, ask questions. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, definitely watch the beginner class because it has most beginner classes, at least from what I understand from Croilers and others, and the through your vagabond vagabond days of going from gym to gym is. Those ones are the most structured because it has to be. It's a bunch of new people for the most part Mm -hmm. don't know what they're doing. Advanced class usually can get a little more chaotic looking because Mm -hmm. it's like, ah, grip fighting. You just have fucking 12 people just wrestling around trying to freaking throw each other to the ground. Guess what? That's not going to look real fun to someone who goes, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, yeah, it's funny because we get emails like, hey, I'm a 42-year-old person. I just started. You mean from Northern Northern Ireland? Perhaps. Because that happened. Perhaps. We have a day full of messages, and that's the only reason we're going to bring them all up because they all yeah. came in like one day. We're like, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. If you're a 42-year-old man that's been doing this for a decade, it's one thing. But if you're a 42-year-old man or woman, and this is what you see coming in yeah and you don't you don't do this yeah ooh. yeah ooh, it looks rough it does it's you know, even the warm-ups you're just like you're wearing that and you're rolling you're running around and rolling and doing weird things because yep. um amanda that was in like she kept up really well um with what seemed to be on the warm-ups found out after class she's like yeah i almost threw up the whole time after that <laughs> nice <laughs> you know she did which, great which she did awesome yeah. like literally she was doing the rope pull uh pretty damn well yeah. she did the shrimp really well like, so much better you. than her husband in every way <laughs> oh yeah that dude's yeah. terrible oh compared to his wife for <laughs> oh, sure god amanda kills him yeah all day <laughs> all day give her two or three what is he at three give her three stripes fuck it yeah. right <laughs> might now. as well right off the bat <laughs> it's like you're at least as good as him here you go <laughs> <laughs> uh, i love making fun of people they can't defend well, themselves. That's actually, that's actually kind of correlates with what kind of school you're going to and mm-hmm. what kind of person you are. So Kip and I, we're not competitors. We're hobbyists. We're yes. only ever going to be hobbyists. I don't do it really for self-defense. No. I don't do it for competition. I do it for a, a level of fitness, and I really like jiu-jitsu. Yeah, it's, it's super it, fun. It's, 
you're working out mind and body. I like that. Yes. It, you know, you, you get a two for one. <laughs> you can't ask for anything more. Two for. So, but yeah, if, so if I go to a school that's very heavily competition based, I'm not going to be that interested. If I'm going to a school that's only self defense based, I'm also not going to be that interested. So I got a perfect little in between. You know? Yeah. It's it's great for Kip and I. Yeah. It's so great. It, yeah. Because but, our school can yeah. do competition. Look mm-hmm. at Morgan. Morgan's yep. fucking dominating, yeah. oh, and look. she's out of our school. Yeah. So it's like you can have that, yeah. but there's a lot of guys that are like Paul and I at our school. Yep. And but then you have the do, middle guys that yeah. will occasionally compete, and mostly are hobbyists. Yep. Yeah. But you can do you can do the gamut, right? So if you want to be a, a competitor, bam. You want to be a self defense dude, women, yep. bam. If you want to be <laughs> dude, like, women, dude, women, <laughs> bam. <laughs> If yeah, if you want to be like Kip and I, then there you go. You got a little bit of the, uh, both worlds. So you want to look for that in the in the gym you're going to. It's just not just about uh, the structure or the the kind of instructor you have. Um, it's about what kind of school it is too. So keep an eye and ask questions about that. Like here's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for self defense. Great. What kind of classes do you have for that? I want to be a world champion. Awesome. What kind of classes do you have for that? Um, I just kind of like jujitsu and want to do it because I seen Anthony Bourdain did it and he was my hero. Was it like that? You know, kind of yeah. just, I just yeah. kind of want to roll. I want to learn technique. I want to have some fun, meet people, you know, is that it? Is and, it, you know, well, and the more and more popular it, it, cause it is, it just keeps growing in popularity. The more you're going to get more of the, as you would say, casual mm-hmm. jujitsu practitioners yeah. and you got to find a school that fits that. Yep. You know, you walk in, I know we have a few very con, con- competition heavy schools in the area yep yeah and i also know people have been to that gym and stopped going to that gym because they're like it's just too much for me yeah, they I, kept killing me yep I, i've heard that a few times like, yeah i can't i'm too old to get murdered every time I yeah go i just can't yeah. do it and it's fine that school that's what you're built for but guess right. what then that's the wrong school for yep. you but yeah had that competition with the owner or head instructor first. Like, here's why I'm doing it. Is this good? And hopefully he's not going to be a shady liar. Oh, no, you'll be fine. I think most of them would be, though, because it's business. Uh, yeah, that's, that's oh, tough. Oh, no, we got a few people that do that. See, they I, quit. See, I know. <laughs> so I know for a fact that, like, Croyler and Chad wouldn't. But no, I, not I, at all. I, Neither I would. I don't know for a fact that nobody would. I'm just kind of hoping. So that's where you have to ask questions and and watch and do a trial class. So, yeah, yeah, you, you kind of need the, all three of them. But yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go All right. Ahead. Read another point. Check. Uh, number four. While watching the class, pay attention to the atmosphere of the class. Is the environment one that allows students to be comfortable and foster growth? Meaning, are or do the students seem to be comfortable around the instructors, around the other students, and are the students asking questions? Ah, yeah. You don't want, like, Lord Over guy. Yeah, no, no, no. You, know, you, don't, you don't need uh, Mrs. Trunchbull. To lead the what class. the fuck did you just uh? You don't remember Miss Trunchbull? No. From uh, what's that old movie? Right there is where you lost me. Damn. Old movie. Sorry. All right. So the uh, fucking terrible. It, it's the, Start over. It's the mean principle. You know, <laughs> we can edit this out. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh no, you fuck up. I leave it. <laughs> uh, the dads at grapplingdads.com tell Kip what uh, Mrs. Trunchbull is. But you can't. Y- y- you're right. <laughs> Madeline, damn, what is, what's it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Nope, so, over it. All right, so you don't want somebody that's lording over. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. just dictating the class rather right. than teaching the class. Yeah. So are the students asking questions? Is he asking the students if they have any questions? Mm-hmm. Is he is he being polite about uh, the instruction he gives? Because if, if somebody's doing something wrong and he's being a dick about it or she's being a jerk about it, then maybe, you know, not such a great school. Yeah. So yeah, you, that's the kind of atmosphere you want to see. That people are having fun, they're comfortable, they're they're good around the the head instructor. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, you you can pick that up just by watching. Yeah, that's you not can see, see that everybody's real comfortable with Chad. Yep, I'm probably too comfortable. Maybe a little bit. A um, little bit. He's mean to me. <laughs> oh wait, everyone right, is <laughs> rightfully so. Number five. <clears throat> are the instructors dealing with those questions? Are they welcoming the questions and answering them positively, or are they answering them negatively? Or even worse, are the instructors not allowing or welcoming questions? Yeah, we covered that. How do you do this trap and roll? What are you fucking stupid? That's not <laughs> I, the right answer. <laughs> I just fucking showed you. Uh, could you show me again? No, no. <clears throat> Someone choke him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number six. When all the students roll, how are they rolling? 
Are they trying to kill each other and trying to decide who's king of the mat? Or are they trying to encourage and help each other improve? That's pretty easy to see. Yes. Still confusing. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yes, I do. And because uh, it, it's like you'll just see this one guy just railing on white belts. You're like, what the fuck? Or is he? Well, he is a blue belt. Maybe he's supposed to be doing that. No. <laughs> you should never really, unless you're you're matching intensity with people, never really should yep. be trying to kill people. I think in every school you're going to have people that, that go really hard. Yeah. But... Their yeah. gas pedals stuck down. Yeah, yeah. The, the difference is, watch their faces, right? So if they are if they look like Conan the Barbarian when they're rolling, then yeah, it's kind of a red flag if yes. everybody <laughs> is, right? Yeah, but if more people are smiling and giggling and having a fun time, helping out the And learning things right. together. You can, you can tell when someone's learning something or being shown something yeah. rather than being just freaking yep. sp- splattered on the map. Yeah, for instance, we had uh, a, a couple new people that, that showed up. And, yeah. And you could... If, if we you have an show, accountant because I don't yeah. know his name. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks just like an accountant. Yeah, he really does. But yeah, they showed up. They don't know anything about jujitsu. But if you were just a layman, hey, looking at the side, you could watch people help them. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, everybody did. I did it kind yeah. of an asshole way, but <laughs> don't do this <laughs> wrist lock. Don't do that arm bar. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. God, you're fucking Joke. dumb. <laughs> Hope your hand works tomorrow. Yeah, you probably didn't do that. But, no, I didn't do yeah, that. Yeah, but no. you, you can you can see the atmosphere quite yes. clearly oh, when yeah. they're rolling. So and just kind of look out for the look on their face. Do they look happy and like they're having fun or are they helping out people or is everybody going to the death? And, yeah, which is good. And a good thing to do when you see people walking around, look at the newer white belts because they're, they're basically in your position. Oh, even yeah, with low, that's a low great stripes. point. Yeah. And just ask them, go, hey, what's this all about? Um, are they do helpful? Do you like it here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, do, does everyone help you here? That's yep. a good one. Just ask them. They're in the same position as you. It's awesome. They, yeah. But just enough newer than you, <laughs> they can answer questions. Exactly. Man, it's hard to start jujitsu. It is. It really is. It shouldn't be, but it is. Yeah. What are you going to do? Cry. A little bit. All just right. Suck my thumb and curl. Don't you do that anyway? Yeah. Ah, number seven. <laughs> Look for the students that seem to be struggling. How are their teammates behaving around them? Kicking are them. they encouraging? Yeah. <laughs> they just all line up and kick them in the ribs. That's what That's we do. That's the sign of a good school. <laughs> or they take the belt off and beat them. I was just going to say that one. That was good. <laughs> that was literally good. Waiting for you to stop talking. I'm like, oh, no, nope, you got to do it. You got it there before me. Uh, oh, great minds at all. <laughs> or not. Feeble minds yeah, think feeble, alike. Feeble, totally. But yeah, uh, that's another red flag. Like if, if nobody's helping out anybody, like if they just, so if a purple belt just demolishes a white belt and <laughs> walks away, probably not the best of signs. Probably not. Yeah. Morgan. <laughs> yeah. How dare you, Morgan? How dare you just mop the floor with me? I'm you just, jerk. I'm just a blue belt for God's sakes. Uh, All right. Number eight. Look at the students as they leave the class. Do they seem happy or are they relieved they survived class? <laughs> Why are they there? <laughs> But it's so true, though. Yeah. Like, I could see it, but, man, why would you be there? Yeah. Yeah, atmosphere is a pretty easy thing to tell. Like, are people joking, laughing, having a good time, you know? Yeah. If they're not, then chances are not a fun school. No. All right. Is this school clean? Number nine. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, look around. You don't want a dirty school. I've seen some videos that people oh. post in gyms. I'm like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah. You can see the mats dirty underneath mm-hmm. them. I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, you... That's a, that's a big deal. You want to make sure you Huge. have a clean school. So yeah, Has look anyone around. heard of Steph? <laughs> right, it's not fun. Mercer? Yeah, good. not good for you. You should look at videos. It's fun. All day. Get a, get a YouTube rabbit hole of staff infections. No? Please don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's disgusting. All right, number 10. How were you greeted when you entered the school? Were you welcomed warmly? What's up, bitch? Or were you seen <laughs> as a nuisance? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Who the fuck no, no guy? <laughs> Everybody just stares at you blankly. Oh. Oh, oh, this doesn't this, feel good. This doesn't doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, you know it's funny because a lot of people, especially this day and age with all the computers and tablets and phones, it's almost like they they don't know how to interact with another human being that they don't know. <laughs> and you know, very difficult. Yeah, you, know, you know, Kip and Jen, you know, they're the kind of people that they get to love everybody right away because you don't seem to 
to feel that barrier of entry no, to, to no. meet new people. But, no, I'll just go up and hug someone. Else or yeah, you, you, yeah <laughs> you, you, you and her just go up and introduce yourselves right away. You're always the first two to do it. Yeah. And that's cool. But not a lot of people do that. Even if they're good people because they're scared. They're just not used to it. So if you're in a school and you see new people coming in, be that person, yeah. you know, be first, yeah. you know, it's, it's okay. Nothing bad is going to happen by saying, Hey, how, how's it going? Uh, how'd you hear about us? You know, what got you interested in it? You know, yeah. are you from around here? Easy questions. You yeah. Know? Have you done a martial art before? It's <laughs> right. always a good opener. Right. A lot of people have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or if the instructor is not available because you know, he's teaching at the time, just say, <laughs> Hey, weird. S- Hey, if you have any questions for me, you know, go ahead. Otherwise I'll, I'll tell him you're here. And as soon as he's uh, got he'll a second, come, he he'll would love over. to talk to you. Yeah. I always say that You'd like, mm-hmm. cause he would, he yeah. loves talking people through it or, yep. or he'll send uh, like our coaches, yeah. Ben, Morgan, Morgan. Yep. Jesse, or uh, Justin over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, you're you're a priority for us because yeah. we want everyone we can. Um, bringing back up uh, what you know, the new key people last night is we had two new girls in there. Like I said earlier, my wife and Mel started cheering, and Morgan started cheering so loud. <laughs> like we have women! <laughs> oh my god, girls came! You see, it's, they're creepy. Yeah, they're actually yeah. they're actually the creepy guys. Yeah, they turned into the creepy guys. They're like, oh, look at the girls. They got girls or and it's like, but, but there's women coming, and it's just my wife was super pumped, just mm-hmm. because it's more people to be there in general, yep. and then on top of it, it's just more people for they can have their. I don't know. It's just you know, they like to have uh, you know not all dudes around. I guess exactly. Yeah, we're we're smelly. Yeah, we covered that earlier. Somebody's got to smell nice. Yeah, my. Uh, they don't smell nice for very long. No, no, we really they're doing don't. the same shit we are. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna smell. Yeah. So if you <laughs> I love I, the pause, I just, I yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, yeah they're I, going I, to I, about covers totally gonna that. smell. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> stinky. But yeah, it just shows people. like that. Che- they literally cheered out loud. Yeah. Not even just because of women, because we also had the accountant that was new there too, and it's just it's we're just pumped to have more people there. Yeah. So you're gonna get a lot of people. You know, we want you there. Exactly. We, everybody wants you there. Yeah. If you're from any school, do yourself a favor. If you want more training partners, make them feel very, very welcome. The yeah. first time somebody right you, you see a new face. It's an uncomfortable situation. Yeah. Remember how uncomfortable uh-huh. it is oh, yeah. to walk in not only to new people, new situation, but a really weird situation. Yeah. Pajama wrestling's not for everyone until they do it. And then it's for everyone. Yeah, it it looks ridiculous. It looks it just looks yeah. like the most ridiculous bullshit you'll ever see. It does. Like if you don't from know the outside what, looking in, yeah. it looks ridiculous. Yeah. So if you heard about it from you know Joe Rogan or Jocko Willink or something like that, you're listening to podcasts. You're like, that sounds really awesome. I'm going to try that out. You walk into your first class, you're going to look at it and go, "Are you oh, fucking what? kidding me?" <laughs> no, this so, is what I came yeah. here for. So their first interaction has to be with somebody very, very nice. And they Positive. have to have an interaction. If yeah. everybody ignores them because you're not used to talking to people, that's an issue. It is. So, yeah, make sure that whoever you are, be first. Just go up and introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, be the ambassador and, yeah. for mm-hmm. your school. Everyone right. can Everyone. be the ambassador. Yeah. Yep, precisely. Because you don't want me saying hi. Oh, God, no. My wife, wonderful person. 100%, yeah. Great person, genuine. Me? Yeah. Me. It's cool. Cause, I do yeah, it any damn cause, way. Because <laughs> your wife can actually keep a conversation going. Like I, I got with like anyone with anyone, and she can keep it rolling. Like she knows all the right things to say. Yeah, she's so good. I'm good at like three things. Hey, how's it going? How'd you hear about us? Uh, where do you live? I'm about done. Do you want to roll? Yeah, <laughs> please roll with me now. I'll show you stuff and things. I can talk then. <laughs> <laughs> Words will flow out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not the most. I don't want to say I'm not outgoing, but um, yeah. No, you, you go out of your way for people, I, for new white belts. You adopt them all. Oh, yeah, I try. I'm just not as good at it as, as Jen. She's yeah. good at it. She's Mel, really good at it. Mel, Mel is oh my great God. at meeting Morgan people. Morgan is, too. Yeah. Morgan's good at yep. it. Um, I don't know. It's not... Uh, who else? Um, In my head. Oh, Chad, our, our main coach. He's really good at welcoming me into the school. He'll Your first few visits at anywhere, he's going to help you or send someone mm-hmm. to like just sit with right. you, get through the warm-ups. He's he's very vigilant on that because he understands. Right. Like, yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's just like mm-hmm. let's help him get through the first few. But yeah, what I'm saying is, meeting new people isn't my forte. I'm a bit of a introvert when it comes to meeting people. Yes, but I try. And that's all I'm saying. Just just try. Make the effort. To Ooh, go we and should send yourself. everybody Larry at our school. Oh yeah, everyone needs a Larry. I think we've covered this in yep, past yep, episodes for sure. Larry loves everything. Um, Larry's wonderful. Uh, he actually gave me a present. 
um, that he got free with the DVD. Ooh. It's a, it's a Deadpool sticker. <gasps> it's going to go on the table. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love me some Deadpool. So, uh, but no, it, he's super nice, super into the sport, and super good at talking and keeping everything positive. Be that guy. Be that guy. Be a Larry. Yeah. At least don't be a dick. How about that? Let's don't. start with don't be a dick. D-B-A-D. Nice. Ah, do it. Cool. Do it. Now. Or don't do it. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, number 11. Try out a free trial class or a free trial week. Most schools have similar deals. Yeah, just ask to say, hey, I'm, I'm not sure about it. I'm just going to try it out. Do you have a, a free trial cl- class or a week or whatever? That's that's a great idea. You'll you'll learn a lot in a class or two, yes, I think. Yes, very, yep. very true. Yep. Yeah, if you get injured your first time, probably not a good thing. You shouldn't, yeah. though. Yeah. You won't. No, you won't. You won't. That's not as bad I as I think we think. mostly have uh, people that are interested in starting or started. Yeah. We seem to have a click with the beginners. Mm-hmm. I like that. Me too. Well, I mean, if you're uh shit, if you're a blue belt, purple belt, whatever, looking for another school. Yeah, yeah this will help. Yeah. Yeah, well, sure. This will also help schools. So if you're a part of the school or own a school and you want more people, these are good tips. They are. Chad, yeah. Chad's been growing mm-hmm. exponentially. Oh, yeah. Huge. Shit, how many people we have in class yesterday? Good Lord. All of the people. It's All fun. the people. You know, it's funny because somebody says, is there going to be a lot of people today? I'm um, like, nah. No, it's I'm hot. always like, nah, it's, it's nice hot. Out. Nobody yeah. will come in. Oh, shit, the parking lot's full. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the back was full as hell. Oh, yeah, it was great. I was had to park all the way behind the um, the CrossFit gym or whatever the hell. No, not CrossFit. CrossFit's actually somewhat respectable. No, um, nope, not really. <laughs> the boot camp. Oh, uh, Fit Body Boot Camp. Yeah, that they don't have anyone showing up anymore. No? No, they get, I guarantee they gave away the, like, the first month free. Oh, uh, yeah. And they were packed for like three or four weeks, and now it's like, it's parking spots everywhere again. Yeah. yeah. yeah Sorry. Do. All right, so anyway, try, try classes, free ones. Number 12. Does the instructor make you feel as if they are a greasy car salesman? Chad. Chad. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. You can call you out, Chad. It's your uh, it's your slick back hair. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're bald. Oh, yeah. He's mm. bald as hell. Yeah. If <laughs> if they just try to tell you things that you want to hear, I guess. I mean, everybody knows what that is, right? You get... Just yeah, the, it's just yeah. the it's the yes man. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we do no, that. Yeah, we do that. You're oh exactly, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, undercoating? Yeah, yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you want some floor match with that? Here, have a patch. <laughs> have a patch. It'll make yeah, feel put good. it on your jacket. Yeah. Nobody mess with you. Put it on your car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like the the jujitsu sticker on your car? Is that like the ADT? Symbol I, like Stein in your front yard, and yeah, no security system exactly. behind it. Yeah, yeah. It's so like uh, I don't need the security system. I just need the sign in my yard. <laughs> Nobody will mess with me. I just need a jujitsu sticker or an MMA sticker. And nobody's, I'm out. <laughs> nobody's flipping me off anymore. I'm Done. gonna wear my uh, affliction T-shirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tap out hat, affliction T-shirt. <sighs> I'm gonna wear my uh, Muay Thai shorts all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> ah, people do it. It's fine. I know it's awesome. All right. After trying a class a week out, think of the following. One, were you introduced and welcomed to the class? Two, were you comfortable with the atmosphere that you were in? Were you comfortable in? Uh, were you comfortable asking questions if you had them? Three, how was the sparring? Did they guide you through the rolling? Meaning, did they beat on you the entire time mercilessly, as I do? <laughs> did they hurt you or were they encouraging and were they helpful if you had questions? A, this doesn't mean that you should get beat up for it to be good, a good school, nor that they should just let you beat them up. Simply that they were mentoring you during the role and not a bully. Number four, do you want to come back? Ooh. Yeah. Come back. Come back. Please come back. Please, God, come back. So it's, it's, it's interesting because everybody's different, right? So if you're coming in there because you want to be a world champion killer and people are going real easy and light, and then you think, wow, these people suck. Yeah, what do you do with that? Ugh. Like, do you want yeah, them to kind of the anyway? opposite, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Uh. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, because if it's your Find first... Find out if you're at the wrong class. <laughs> God, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, I guess it depends on what kind of school you want. Yeah. But, you know, a, a new guy that looks like an accountant maybe don't smash his face in, you know? If you get a 20-year-old that says he was a collegiate wrestler, then... He'll he probably, smash his own face in. Yeah, he's going to do most <laughs> of the work. For, he's going to show you right away what he wants to do and what he is. So. Yeah, he's going to go on <laughs> top and he's going to try to smash you. Exactly. He'll probably cradle you. Yep. And then you can ask them just at any point in time, what you going to do now? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if the point is, if, if you're like us, you're a hobbyist and you don't know anything, 
are people being very nice? Are they kind of, you know, yeah. doing jujitsu on you and making you feel like, oh, wow, this stuff works, but they're not hurting you? Because yeah. we can do that, right? We can we can destroy destroy you, but nicely. Yeah. We don't have to smash well, you. We don't have to, like, put all the pressure on yeah, you. Yeah, or like I did, like, I don't know if it was right or wrong, but what I did with um, the accountant, it's now his name. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we have I, no idea what I he will does. Totally, he just looks I'm, like an accountant oh, in yeah. <laughs> We're totally going to, I'm going to inform him of that in next class. It's going to be perfect. I'm like, hey, guess what? You got a name. Huh? You're the accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Why? You just look like just an look accountant. Like an accountant. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be so great if he was an accountant. Oh, you know what um, it is. All I did was I swept him me four or five times with the same sweep. Just a simple scissor sweep because he just kept scrunching his knees together yep. and pushing his arms down. And I would just pull him right back on top of me. Like, nope, go ahead, do it again. And he would do it and then rolled up on him. And then, then he stuck his hands out and I didn't finish farm. I just grabbed it. I go, this is what's going to happen. I grabbed him and I go, and he goes, what am I doing? wrong i'm like perfect all of it you're doing like, all of it wrong no, I'm like it's just <laughs> i go this is just the stuff i struggled with was to keep my base under me exactly and, and i just so i was i'm helping you out this right. this is i wish somebody did that to me most people just did it once or twice roll and then were like killing me i would have wish somebody would have been like yeah, you want to know how to stop that from happening <laughs> yeah and and he got, then he even asked and he goes okay what do i need what should i be working on right off the bat boom base uh, framing, oh, just defense. No, no, just no, keep no, them no, alive. No. You got to work on barambolas. That's the first thing you should ever. Oh work shit, on. and yeah. barambolas. Yeah, <laughs> flying triangles. Yeah. All day, All just day. throw them yeah. up, accountant. Yeah, do it. But yeah, it's just and it's it was the person doing that for you. Were they sitting there sweeping and mounting and giving you an armbar, or were they going, "Hey, I swept you. Do you want to know how not to let that happen?" Exactly, because that helps. It's just those simple little things. I wish people would have done to me. All my teammates let me down by beating the shit out of me. Oh, that's hey, probably my lack of yeah. uh, lack of talent. <laughs> like I just never picked up on it. It was more your face. Like, ooh, this guy needs an ass beating. See, Clearly, no. he's won a soccer way too much in his life. <laughs> he needs a good humbling. Um, it's football. <laughs> it's it's football. Whatever. You needed humbling. Humble the man. Humbling bullshit. I got my ass kicked for months. Yeah, I know. You needed that. Did not. <laughs> I hated myself before. <laughs> I I might have needed that, if I'm honest. Oh, we've talked about yeah, that. we've talked about that. You walked in like, I do jujitsu in my basement God. and I'm really big. Let me take off my bucket hat and my wife beat her. I'm going to beat your ass. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I'm an undefeated cage fighter because of my basement, air quotes, jujitsu. And the guy breaking quotes. his hand on your face. Dude, that was a move. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Guess what he didn't hit me with again? That fucking hand. It's very true. You eliminated a yeah, hand yeah, exactly. with your face. Boom. <laughs> winning <laughs> hashtags all day uh, i'm just like jamal undefeated cage fighter just yeah. like him same thing <laughs> little different same thing all right uh, i think you guys should uh spar together then <laughs> you have to take one leg kick one just I, one i'm busy that day <laughs> <laughs> i would be too <clears throat> all right then moving on so do you want to come back hopefully you do i think if you ask yourself these questions you'll have a generally general idea of whether it's a good school Although, after about four to six weeks, for sure, you'll see if the school is good or not by the mood you're in. If it's a shit school, you're more stressed out than you were before. And, despite going to class, then maybe that school isn't the right fit for you. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's the thing, right? So, a lot of us go there for a stress reliever, right? We go there yeah. because it's fun. Oh, man, I can forget yeah, everything we, there. Yeah. It's great. It, it, whatever kind of day you have, no matter how terrible when you're learning that and when you're rolling, you're not thinking about that. It's, no. like, it's like the moment in time where it's, you know, I'm not into Zen meditation and stuff. We're, we're not uh, esoteric. We just, we're not those guys. No. That being said, we understand you get that anyway. You get that, you know, you're only in the moment because that's the only place you can be. You can't think yeah. of other no, shit. No, you can't. And uh, when you leave, you tend to keep on thinking about that and the you good do. time you have. Yeah. So oh, your, yeah. Your, your bullshit doesn't just come back right away. So I've I've had mm-hmm. many many bad days of work. I've had many. Didn't many you bad say you were having a shitty day today? It was a horrible day today, but I I have them, um, on more than one occasion. <laughs> it's just it, it is what it is, right? Yep. But when I go to jujitsu, it's it's a stress reliever. It's fun. It's a family, and that's what it should feel like. Yeah, you should you should be excited to go. You should be excited about the time you had after you left, and not be thinking about other stuff. Yeah, you should it, be able to be walking out, going, yeah. "Man, this happened. This happened during yeah. class. 
Even if it's like you got choked the fuck out. Yeah. You got choked out really interestingly. I got choked out once by Ben on a reverse triangle. Fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> so so everybody has, you know, everybody's heard of, you're either the hammer or the nail, you know, you're, you know, blah, blah. I get it. Yeah. But, but true, fair, it, it's a true analogy. But even if you're getting beat up and nothing's going well, you, the school should be good enough where you're going, all right, I got my ass whooped today. However... They showed me what I was doing wrong, and I've learned from from it. Or I figured out what was going exactly. wrong. Exactly. You, you know, even if you are on the losing side of every role, you should leave happier than you came in. That's a good school. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what uh, Tim said. Is he got splattered by me, uh, Matt, Brandon, <laughs> and one other person? He goes, yeah, "It's just." Three, at least three or four in rolls. I just got fucking killed. Dude had a smile on his face the whole time. Yeah. He he just enjoyed it. Yep. He's just like, this is great. Yeah, at a good school, people should be able to just run through you easily. Just beat the piss out of you and make it fun. Yeah. When Croiler was beating the hell out of me, I was loving every moment of yeah, it. Yeah, it's I was super having, great. You know, even though I couldn't do a damn thing. Nothing, nothing I did worked, no. you know, and I'll do the same thing with like Chad, Justin, Jesse. Yeah. And it just, my game is just shut down. I can do nothing. They can do everything, but they make it fun. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. losing horribly, but I'm having a great time doing it. And those are the kind of training partners that you're looking for. And if you run a school, that's the kind of person you have to be. Yes. It's because it starts, it's a very top down, uh, gym situation. Yep. Cause if you're, if your coach is, that way, and he's really welcoming, really involved. The rest of the coaches down are going to be that way, and so are the students. Right, and you feel it, man. You you can feel it. It's so like we are definitely not esoteric, but you definitely feel the vibe of of your school right. for sure when you walk in there. Yeah. I mean, and we have you know at our gym we have you know Morgan. Now she's just a purple belt, right? But she is a hell of a competitor, and yes. she's been winning everything as of late and she'll tell you yeah i've i've She's lost a long time yeah. and i've just been smashed over and over yeah. again i've had a lot more lows than i have highs she's on a good streak but her school is fun mm-hmm. and nobody's here to just to smash her 100 all the time and 100 competitive it's a fun school everybody's having fun and she's doing excellent same thing with jamal he just won the title he's a champion in the 205 uh, pound weight division yep. and knockout promotions that's a huge deal his school is fun. You yeah. know what I mean? He's he's going to school with a bunch of non-competitors. You know, there's no... But we make him work. Yeah, but we're having a... You know, we're pushing him. We're having a good time. But, you know, nobody's getting hurt. Nobody's getting frustrated. You know, you know. Yep. And he's he's thriving in yeah. that, you know. He's, so he's, you... He's holding... Yeah. He's a blue belt. And he's holding up against two brown belts in a row. Legit yeah. brown belts. Holding his own on the ground. Pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, coming from our school, pretty proud of that. But yeah, even if you have a, a competitor school or a competitive school, that's what your shit is. It can still be fun. Yeah, for sure, it should be. I mean, I, it's, I, you and I are both on the same page on that one. It's if it ain't fun, I ain't doing it. Exactly. I think a lot of people are that way. Yep. If it's not fun, fuck you. I'm exactly. out. Unless I'm trying to be a competitor and I need people to just crush me, and so I can be used to it fine i guess but i'd still want it to be yeah. fun if i was in that mindset yeah the second i'm not having fun i'm gonna go buy a bow and arrow <laughs> jack off. I like a bow and arrow. i'm gonna be the next ted nugent i do believe your dad uh took back your bow and arrow i so gave you it would back. have to go shopping i, I actually gave it back because i wasn't gonna use that bitch yeah, <laughs> oh it's meditational <laughs> fuck you it's shooting a fucking arrow it's funny i was talking to ben and he's like shoot a bow yet i'm like <laughs> fuck no i didn't he's like I have two i'm like if you bring it over i'll shoot it <laughs> i'm just not gonna do it on my own you know it's super funny. Yeah, it is funny. Right. What do you do? No. Nah. Not shoot a fucking bow and arrow. That's what I do. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. All yeah. Right. That about covers it. Oh, it's a good one. I like it. I did. So, yeah, more than what to look for in a good school. Um, if you're in a school, be a good school. You know, create, yes. create that atmosphere for people. That's what we're saying. Yeah, for sure. What you looking up, Kippers? Uh, what what do you mean? I'm not. I'm. I'm just Facebooking it personally. Ah, Jesus. No, I'm bored with this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm, out. I'm, I'm just. I'm, out. I'm just Facebooking it. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> no, I'm looking at stuff. What do you got? Uh, nothing. 
You got nothing? No. I thought you wanted to talk about stuff. I did. I thought you liked messages. We got a message from Northern Ireland. Ooh, read that one. What up, fella? Well, I was looking up something else, but whatever. Where did that one come on? Hey, this is professional. This is what we do. Wait, dead air. Yeah, dead air. Love it. Just sit here. Just um. Oh yeah. Uh, here's a here's a message we got from uh, Snapgraps. I have to say, I absolutely love you guys. Stuff your guy stuff. At least spell stuff right. Jesus. <laughs> I started a couple months ago from episode one after listening to a newer episode at the time, somewhere in the 40s maybe. I just finished up 55. After doing so, I have a request. It seems that I was able to binge listen way too fast, and I think I speak for all the listeners. You guys need to step it up and start producing two podcasts a week. Yeah, we We, tried that. We did. We tried that. (laughs) I I let them know. We tried that. Uh, Dude, I work like 50, 55 hours a week. You know, camp works. We both have kids. We both do jiu-jitsu and a podcast. Yeah. We couldn't do it. No. Yeah, oh, shit. We oh. got worn out. Uh, we're badasses, for sure. Not really. Not really, but, no. Uh, yeah, that we're was tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and old. We mentioned that we're old, right? Really? Yeah. Really old. Yeah. I'm going to be older in a few weeks. He goes on to say, I mean, the second show could drop Kip and just be Paul and Croyler. <laughs> just an idea. Yeah, this, is, this is coming from the same asshat that um, left a review that it would, um, that Paul and Croyler are great, Kip is not. <laughs> this guy is awesome. That was <laughs> clearly, great. clearly he understands the show. <laughs> he goes on to say, no, seriously, you guys rock. Thank you so much for all you guys do. Kip, congrats on your blue belt and the new house. Paul, congrats on being able to put up with Kip. This whole time, <laughs> 55 episodes. Much love. Hope I can come and visit. Hashtag journey. Hashtag path. Ass hat. Again. I, I, I like him. <laughs> I like him. I do too, but he's kind of a dick. Yeah, yeah. Um, so are we great messages though. Uh, so you know, the mut- this is uh from Northern Ireland, I think. Uh, the mutterings that make sense. Oh, that was from you here. Hi, guys. I've mm-hmm. listened to two episodes, two, and he already loves us. You're <laughs> on your own advice. Perhaps I won't delve too deep into the back catalog. <laughs> well played, well played, smart, <clears throat> smart. Uh, I just want to laugh. It's good I, for a laugh. That is true. I am from Northern Ireland and started BJJ at 42 years old and loving it. Keep up the good ish work. <laughs> so, <laughs> believe hurtful. it or not, some of your mutterings do make sense. <laughs> I love this. Looking forward to the next one. Hey. Yeah. These all came in in one day, so that's why we're reading them. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. There's they, more. <laughs> they piled on. And there is more, but then they're informational and didn't really help you <laughs> or aren't funny. You got the other one? What else you got there, dude? You're like staring at your phone intently. We are so uh, professional around here. We're awesome. We really aren't. Oh, hey, uh, that site for the uh, jujitsu jujitsu junkies <clears throat> jujitsu junkies dot com, right? Yes, that's it, right? Yep. dot com. Uh, no, it's dot co dot co. That's right. Yes, dot co. Um, she is fucking hilarious. One of them. Oh my god, she's awesome. There's uh, six ladies, I do believe, that do it. Like five or six ladies. Yep. And they are awesome. Uh, what they do is. Uh, if you want to find an open mat, they're starting to register new gyms all the time now. Uh, they had a Jiu-Jitsu Times article about them, and uh, it's really cool what they do. Oh, um, yeah, for It's sure. a database to find open mats while you're traveling or even in your own town. Very cool. Yeah, for sure check them out. Well, way to add some fucking substance there, Paul. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. You're doing yeah, good, Cupcake. That. What do you say? Yeah. Well, to, yeah. Her, yeah, to her point. You're that jackass when we're in a fight and you're standing behind me. Yeah, he's going to fuck you up. <laughs> I would, too. You'd do fine. <laughs> would you want me to jump in? I mean. Just throw a couple of drop kicks. <laughs> it's a couple drop kicks. People's it's elbows. Cool. Yeah, it's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> From behind where he doesn't see me coming. It's the only way I'm winning a fight. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe stab him. That's Too fine. far? Too far. Too far. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're a traveling jujitsu person, this would be a great resource. Yep. So. Not, yeah. So you can check them out on Instagram. It's uh, Jujitsu Junkie Co. Um, so you can just look them up on Instagram or go straight to the website, which is Jujitsu Junkie dot Co. So they're awesome. They Amanda's awesome hilarious. Uh, she posted a picture. We need to share that. That was in Alaska, was, right? Yeah, it was in Alaska. She's just standing on a on a ferry. In her regular clothing, <laughs> as you would in Alaska, yes. with her white belt on, <laughs> and taking pictures as everybody's going, as everybody's looking like, at her, going, "What the, the fuck, fuck is she are doing?" You doing? Yeah. And I of That's course awesome. asked her. I go, "So did you nod the what's up? Yeah. What's, like, up? what's up? What's up?" They uh, did and not, she, in fact, want to roll with her. <laughs> she, she goes, "Do you want to roll?" 
No one took her offer. That's bullshit. <laughs> so, so clearly they need more uh, BJJ gyms in Alaska. Evidently so. Yeah, yeah. So spread the word, Amanda. Get them going. Yeah, get them going. Start one. <laughs> oh, that was a great yeah. picture. Yeah, she's uh, flat Stanleying herself. Yes, you know that I, I laughed at yeah. my desk when I read that one. That's that was funny. a good one. I liked it a lot. So check them out. That's a really cool thing that they're doing. So, um, And uh, she's a fan of the show. So Weirdly. Weirdly. Yeah. Awkward. But yeah, so if you're uh, if you're bored, uh, like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, comment on the iTunes and stuff. We love it. We really do. It's Keep great. sending your emails and your your comments. They're awesome. Uh, we just get elated every time one comes in, especially when they bash Kip. That's my favorite. Yeah, there was like six that bashed me yeah. in one fucking day. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, he do cried. Do people I know that I have feeling? <laughs> I have a feeling, and you fuckers are abusing the shit out of it. It was great. It's funny as hell. Keep uh, it up. It doesn't matter how bad of a day I'm having. I see those. I'm like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> well, everything's best day brighter. Ever, yeah. Smells better. Kip got made fun yeah. of. People in Ireland and Australia are busting Kip's balls. <laughs> My life is not complete. Everyone does. It's fucking fun. It's great. Uh, why does everyone pick up on that? Because uh, they're great. Like Chad on uh, Saturday for the fight. Oh, this is awesome. He leaves this beautiful note on the front door that's, you know, hey, you didn't want to hear the doorbell ringing, so he just said, hey, if you were invited, you are family or friends, and you are welcome here, just walk in. Do not ding the doorbell. Do not knock. Except, Kip, you have to ring the doorbell. <laughs> Which you did not. Fuck no. I'm, like, I'm family if you don't want me to yeah. be. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And the, oh, dude, it was so funny because so Chad didn't see me yet. And oh, he really? Walked past me, and um, and he heard the doorbell. He goes, "Ooh, it's Kip!" <laughs> running back the other way. Remember, he's like, "Kip's right there." He's like, "Oh, Aww. I was so disappointed that I didn't ping the board." Yeah, doorbell. we suck because I walked in and I got this huge look of disappointment on his face. I'm like, "Dude, you invited me." <laughs> he's like, it's "Not what I wanted." You're not the person not I was making fun of. It's <laughs> making fun of Kip. My coach makes fun of me all the time. That's yeah. great. But yeah, he invited everybody over for the uh, the fight, so we thank him for that. Yeah, it was awesome. He, that was great. That's for his anniversary to his yeah. beautiful wife, Ashley, who is my favorite. She is awesome. Good peeps. She is. So And a blue belt herself. Yeah. So I I think we're good. I think we're good. So, uh, Croiler, do like a 17-part uh, Women in BJJ yeah, series. I don't care how long uh, it is. Yeah, yeah. We're going to uh, rattle through it. And if not, we're going to start it without you. Because yeah, Kip will never go down to H, quor- uh, H quarters. H Jesus. quarters. H quarters. Not headquarters. I knew anything. I was going to fuck something up before the show. You ended. certainly there did. There it is. Enjoy that. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Closing out the show. I'm awesome. fuck up. <laughs> ah, deep and heavy sigh. Sooner or later, I might go there. Eh, doubt I mean, it. I mean, he keeps telling me I have to go there. So I assume. So what he's got to do is he's got to go, hey, Kip, are you working on this day? And then when you say no, he can be like, guess what's that day? <laughs> Motherfucker. Problem solved. See, Done. look at me. Problem solving. Yeah. Probably won't work. Yeah. Then I'll I'll pull a hamstring. Right. If anybody has any <laughs> uh, any questions they want asked on the show, too, just don't uh, hesitate to send them in. No, we love the message. Yep. Honestly, guys, we love the support. It, it keeps us going. Yep. Um, it's Absolutely. A, it's an amazing amount of work to get these to go and uh, have them sound good, have them have some great content for you guys every week. Um, That's mostly Croiler, but I'm great at his reading. His shit's dry as hell. <laughs> it's dry. It's just informational of wonderfulness, <laughs> and uh, we make it uh, palatable to the masses. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That sounded legit for a second. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, good call. That's exactly right. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why people that's don't want to probably a show. good thing you're not going down there this Saturday. <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Uh, well... I talk shit during the roll. It really doesn't matter what I say before. Mm, true. It, God, I'm stupid. Now you, you do double down on the shit talk. Fuck yeah, I do. It's the, fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, fun to watch. It's not... It's. I guess it's not fun while it's happening. Yeah, it's still kind no, of it's fun. Still fun. It's painful. <laughs> oh, he rode me like a surfboard. That was really, really I was going to go with horse, but, you know. No, he wasn't straddling me. He Little was bit. literally all his appendages on me at one time. He's not a oh, small yeah, yeah. man. He's tall. Hey, we all enjoyed it, so we thank you. Yeah. We thank you for your shit talking. Yeah, it was fun. Good job. I got a laugh. From everybody. Yeah. Mm. Right. Was it from pain? <laughs> yes. Pro- yeah, probably. All right. all right. Let's wrap it up. All right, everybody. See ya. Bye-bye. Love you, Mom. That was good.